Hello everyone, today we will be going to create and draw small circle quickly. And this is the folder which I have created and also assets in this which are required to create our small circle. Now let's open this in the just to just to uh, video store code. Press shift and right click. Press hold is better. Student, And I'll take it back. This is a little bit of a And I'll see in the future. Uh, uh, in the Thank you. 
Also, we have the given and we do the best for the page and put it here. And now we have the creative setup. So, we have created the basic part of the HTML and this part set up will come to the other side.
start with the html code and enter the enter talk using the emit we have got the following format of the html now let's enter the title of the page uh, let's add an icon to our page and let's create an css file with the name index.css now let's name the html page and css page link and uh, style sheet slash index.css now coming to the body section let's create a navigation bar and in the navigation bar we'll be having three divisions one is menu the next division is logo and the third division is pillar and in these divisions we will be filling up the data now let's create a button and give it an id name <coughs> id name as open button and in this button let's give an image and after this image, let's give an text as menu. Now let's refresh the page here so that the whether we have got the output or not. Yes, we have got the output with an image and a menu. Now let's create the other part. The, now this class overlay, description overlay is an hidden for hidden file, which will be shown when we click the menu button. Now let's create this menu button, menu division. This division. Uh, the orbit text which is shown when we click the menu button it will be open when we click the close button it will be closed in this button we are giving an image and it is also will be giving a content in this content we will be taking an another list and as another list we will be giving the list names as names And this is the end of the menu button. Now let's create a logo. We will be giving an image. The source of this image is Let's give this uh, image width of our pixels. And let's give an idea to this as logo. Coming to the dealer section, let's here also create a button. And in this button, let's give an image, and that image is the image source, and that goes up the text. And that's the end of the navigation bar. Now we'll create a main section. In this main section, we'll be having three video containers. These three video containers are placed one by one. Now let's create them. The source of the video. And let's give an ID to this video. And let's give some properties such as auto play. And look. So when we have seen this, the video has been created and we have got it. Now we have to add some text on the video. So let's create that. Let's add a span. Let's align it to the center. And I am giving monkey tag such so that if we click the uh, if we click the button, then it directly redirects to the page which is which we link. After this, let's add an image. When we hover on the button, you will see a transition effect. That will be that we are using this image in the source of the image. And let's give a class name to this image. And that's all. We have created an text. If you see, the text is below the video but we will be moving it up to the video soon now let's copy this and create another containers also similar there are three more videos i've copied the same and now let's change the names and here And 
here we will be changing the text if you are forgotten to add it here head in to this so let's add it So, the perfect will be having an image here. After the image, you will be having a text. Like the third video, also we are having a catalog first, and the other we are also having a text as your let's give a class name to this as your and the video container just been done. Let's see the output how we got it. This text, everything will be more onto the video. Now let's create the another section below that. Let's give the center tag, center the text will be in the center. It's the tag, and let's say right as explore. Okay. And um, paragraph tag, continue, your yeah. yeah. After this, let's give it another section, another page as, as, and in this, we will give another division as sections. Let's create an anchor tag here. This anchor tag will be giving the link which will be directed to the other source. And after this, we will be giving an image. And let's give a width of this image as and Below this, we'll be having the text. Below the text, we'll be having also a content. This is the heading, and this is the content. After this, we'll copy whole this section part and create another two sections. And let's change here the image and the content also, the heading and the content. And that's the end of this. And after this, we'll be creating a small transparent section. This is one of the main part where we can see a small division in this page. Let's, uh, there'll be no text in this. 
So after this, you will be creating a photo section. In this photo section, you will be giving an image in the center of it. We got as a heading. And after this, we are creating a new division. Let's go to this whole part and paste it so that we can do it more faster. And let's do this. And we are each thing that should be the asset language that is in British with uh, British. Now we'll be creating also the we can make this fourth list in this. So we're clearing it out. And then the next another list. In this also we can make this fourth another list. We'll also be creating um, social media icons here. Put the class name as and we will do the images and then we will copy this and paste it in the next class. Let's change the name of them. The British name and this we have got the account here. Now let's see this size of this British flag. Let's give it as well. See, it's same with the height of the language. And then you can get the HTML page. Now let's move on to the CSS. As we have linked the CSS file also, let's start it. Now coming, now starting from the body section. Okay, now coming to the body section, let's make this body section and adjust our screen according to our requirements. So that our uh, page looks more neat and money. Let's get started. Let's give the font family here also. And the difference is we will be using this. Now coming to the navigation bar. Let's give the position. Click top zero. Left zero. Width and person. Height 70 pixels. Space UT one. Um, Station of basically 0 0.57 is display. Let's align the items in this center. Just for the space between them, just right and end, space between. And we will get the color to the text as RGB. Let's get the background color. We may have ready zero degree zero 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 point three one nine with fifteen percent and then RGB. GPA of zero 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 point two five with under percent. Let's give background image also as the same. Let's give a little bit padding. Yeah. Now coming to the image section in the navigation bar. Display let height. And yes, and order which uh, are height ATPX order three and height into the 
center we have a logo also so we'll be getting it logo okay city order this got arranged in the base is the menu this one and this one this got arranged in the particular order now coming to the buttons as we have told that there is a transition of opening and closing we will be creating that now so in sequence you can see this, uh, in, uh, this text is getting out of uh, now we will drive the code for that the question is fixed with top zero and left minus forty percent means uh, to the left it has to be moved to the left and the width is forty percent height is hundred percent background color the background as linear gradient zero degrees at GPA zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point seven four seven which is fifteen percent and from under RGB zero comma zero comma zero comma zero point six one six with hundred percent after this now let's see the transition for this transition left Zero point five seconds. And let's give it a minute as comments. It should be appeared anywhere in this page. And that's a wallet section. And let's give the condensation also, which is behind it of fifty five percent. Left fifty percent and from slave. Minus fifty percent comma minus fifty percent and padding as twenty periods width eighty percent height and transition and from zero point five. I think we'll be integrating for the close button also since we have created for the open button. This is showing the silver top thirty percent left. 30%. Background color as transparent border zero and also as point. Now coming to the another list in this section in the beginning as content. And another list. List type, list style type, none. Padding, 10px. This we are giving the list type as none and padding 10px. And font weight as 500. Letter spacing is 1.6 pm or r pm, which is the space between the two texts. And the font size as, one, sorry, the letter space 1.6. RM the letter spacing there is one one seven five PM line height as one point eight seven five text transform upper case color gray opacity as zero point four seconds and opacity is zero point five will change since the opposite is going to be changed, we are giving this next the list type as content well alike. Opacity is zero. Animation is fade in zero point five seconds. Is in for is in out forward. Extra line to the right, padding 
of 20 pixels. <laughs> so, now let's write uh, when we hover onto this list, then the color should change. So, let's write a code for that. Okay. I think the B. Let's give the opacity as one. Now the main page have, should have the headers as the video container. Object should fit the page. Object should be. The height should be 100%. As you see the video and or, uh, the video's height and width will be adjusted. To come in to the over languages, the text should be that should be appeared on the video. It's overlay position. So good. It's zero and with another percent height percent display. Max align items to each other, justify content. Center Their events. Text overlay. Dot overlay. Is text. Find a word. Color. Font size. Four pixels, the region automatic with a zero milliseconds. Add, add, overlay, text, text two, from three, is 300, vector, spacing, zero, three. Size four pm and height margin bottom ten px margin top ten px dot overlay dot text dot button and height and pixels. Since it is explaining the it since it is taking more time, I have created the code with it before. And I will explain you each line. In the bottom section, we have given the font weight as 500 and letter spacing as uh, 0 0.16667 em and font size of 1.2 em, line height also, width of 75 pixels, height 45 pixels, and padding right and padding left and border radius. And now with the border 0, now I will copy this and paste in uh, the above VS code. We can observe the changes. As I have Click at this, you can see that the button has been changed and it has been designed very well, beautifully. Now, this is what is when we, when we hover onto the button, these are the changes that are done. The position is relative, uh, display is in mind flex, and uh, items are aligned to the center. The content is a flex start, and the cursor is pointer. When we uh, uh, keep this, when we hover onto it, the, this, uh, this happens, and the text in the button. The button text we have taken as padding 
left as 10 pixels and transition of transform is 0 0.3 milliseconds and when we hover onto the button uh, the button text transforms or means the, uh, when we hover onto it the text slightly moves towards the 10 pixels this is what is that code for the transform translate x minus 10 pixels you hover onto it the there's a slight movement of the text you can observe it this is for uh, this is because of this transform translate minus x when we hover onto the button the arrow image also should be changed. So for that, this is the text. This is the code for it. You over onto it, then it's slightly moving. Now the arrow, now the arrow image has to be shown. For this, this is the code. The opacity becomes one. When the opacity is zero, we cannot see anything. But when the opacity is one, when we over onto it, you can see that the text. The text is moving slightly, and we can see the arrow. This is the text which is in the ghost. We have uh, kept a text in the uh, form of paragraph as uh, pure expression for that. This is the stylings for it. The margin bottom, the font size and letter spacing and line height. And dot overlay hover. The cursor changes to the pointer in this place. And this is regarding to the uh, and this overlay hover means uh, this is regarding to the text so that the text which is there can be in the same format. Now as you can see that as the changes have been done you can see that the spectry has been uh, means the text has been added onto this video and the discover when we uh, over over it the arrow button is shown. For every video its text has been uh, arranged properly. Now, now the next part is the explore section that is below this. Now we have to do the changes for this. This is the explore division which we have taken first. The margin top is 0, the background color is given and the width is given and the height for that is given. And the color which is the text color is given in that and the padding is also given. See the changes when I paste the code here. If you see the changes that the background color has been changed background color has been changed and the text color has been changed and that uh, this height also has been increased now for the explore h3 we are given some properties such as the font weight letter spacing and font size and the line height giving this that giving this uh, has changed the h3 that is the heading this headings has been changed because of giving that. And similarly, let's give the paragraphs also. The font weight, the letter spacings, and the font size. You can see that this, there's a change in the text. I think so. We are taken as H4 here. Now the scars images. See they have got uh, arranged uh, one after the other. Now the sections part. I am giving the each section a uh, space between them and the overflow between them and a border left so that this line is appeared to the left side. When we hover onto this uh, there should be a transition when we hover onto the section the image should be zoomed in or it should be changed a little bit now, If you hover onto it you can observe that the image is getting popped up This is the trans this is due to the transform scale 1.1 if you change the scale then it gets more Now this is a this is for this section the anchor tag which we have used it This is how it looks after the, all the changes now coming to the section image, we are giving it the width, height and transition for the and in this section the H4 tag and in this section the paragraph tags and as I told earlier in the HTML we will be giving a blank space which is that is this 
We are given the background as transparent, the width is 100% and the height is 112 and the height is 400 pixels. This will create a transparent uh, place where we can see a transition further. Now given coming to the footer section, the footer section is fixed to the bottom and we are given the background color also and the padding and this is at index. The motor, this is the Rolls Royce motor car, the image is aligned to the center by using this properties the image is aligned to the center the footer tag is there adjusted such that that this each compartment is shown side by side at 90% margin left 50% and we are having a border top and border bottom such that this got arranged like this now coming to the list tag we have to give it none and these are the some of these arrangements are that the text changes according to it look like and this is how the text has been changed and the when we hover onto this the color should change a little bit and this is due to that and for the social icons this is how the social icons are shown the social icons are arranged uh, one after the other I will increase the screen and show it to you. You can see that the social icons are arranged one after the other. As I told that the transition effect. When I scroll, you can see that this bottom part is not moving at all, but the top part is moving. This is because there is a transparent section here and this has been Z index minus one. You can see when I scroll down, you can see that the bottom footer section has been fixed and the upper section is moving. This gives a good transition effect which we can also see in the Rolls Royce web page and everything has been aligned perfectly. Now there is a script of little bit JavaScript which gives us the where when we scroll down this image is changed to the Rolls Royce icon which looks like this and when we click onto the menu button it should change and show us uh, the hidden part. So for that we have to use JavaScript. Now let's create a JavaScript file index.js this is the javascript file which I have been ready. this is the javascript which I have taken it readily I will explain you each one by one this is uh, regarding the video section when uh, taking the element my videos the video are listening to the, when the video is ended the current time should again go to zero and the video should play again means for the loop I have created this and this is regarding the scroll position is equal to zero image is equal to document dot yet element id as logo when we scroll when we scroll the page the image the logo which i have told the rolls royce logo should be changed this is regarding that and this is regarding the plane uh, uh, the open button and the close button when we click on the button, the open bar, the slide bar should come show, and uh, we have to see the text which is hidden. And when we close the button, the text should go back. And the final outcome, outlook looks like this. I'll show you. Let's reload the page once so that the code gets reloaded. Now, if you see, when I scroll. Uh, we have uh, we have linked the JavaScript code. Also. Since I am scrolling down, there are no changes because they didn't link the JavaScript to their HTML file. Now let's link the JavaScript file. We have to script slash index dot js. Now we have successfully linked our JavaScript file to the HTML file. Now let's check the changes. Let's reload the page. And now. When we scroll down, you can see that the icon here has been changed from the row RR logo to another row. When we scroll down, there has been changed. And even I have told you the menu section. And we click menu, you can see that this has been uh, the sidebar has been changed. We can see this also. But since we uh, when we hover only, we can see that means we have to change the color of this. Let's change the color of this. The content color which we have as gray. Let's give it as only during the video. We can see the text, but 
Okay, let's give it a color here. I think we should change the opacity. Yeah, since we are given as opacity 0, we couldn't see that. Now we will remind that and now we will okay. Yeah, that's it. The output. Yeah, now we can see that we have got the text here. Since we are given the opacity as 0, we couldn't see the text further. Now, if I over on it, you can see that the text is being highlighted. All the elements are correct. If I, if I close this, this moves up. And this is how the page looks like. Our whole square page which we have created. When we move on to this square, the text moves slightly. And this is just like this. And when we over onto this images, the it's getting zoomed. And the last for the section. Now let's see the official role square page, how it looks like, and this is our this is our Rolls Royce page. The official Rolls Royce page link is there. And this is how the official Rolls Royce page looks like. It's the same menu button, the RR logo, the find the dealer, the spectre. As you move down, you can see that the text of the image here also has been changed. We have done the same replication for that. As you move down, explore feature and these icons. As we are moving here, this is also getting enlarged. It's assumed the same procedure. As you scroll, you can see that this is also fixed. This is how we have created the Rolls Royce web page. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.